Welcome back. Husker Game Day brought to you by Dakota Mac. We are uh, getting set to go. Nebraska's first road game of 2019. The Huskers on the road in Boulder taking on the Colorado Buffaloes shortly after 1.30 here local time, 2.30 central time. And partnering up with us once again are our great friends at Truck Center Companies and very happy to welcome in now uh, the CEO of Truck, Truck Center Companies, Trey Mitty. Good to be back here, man. And, and the, you know, I have to imagine, you know, another year partnering with Truck Center Companies, you guys are, are just continually, just like the Huskers, continuing to grow and expand. And, um, you know, you're obviously seeing a lot of a lot of movement with the company. What's, I guess let's just start with what's changed since a year ago. Yeah, sure. We're uh, we're excited to be here and excited to uh, be the Road Warrior sponsor again for the Huskers. And um, you know, we've got some exciting things that have that have happened to uh, this year for us. And uh, we've expanded our reach into uh, southwest Kansas. So uh, we have new facilities in Liberal, Kansas, um, and in Dodge City. We have construction underway in Liberal, and uh, Dodge City will be next. So uh, some good stuff happening there. And uh, we bought some ground in uh, Norfolk, Nebraska, too. So we're uh, that'll be our next project so we can expand and, and continue to take, take care of uh, our customer base out there. Well, let's talk about your facilities a little bit. I had a chance to, 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 to see them. They're, they're quite impressive. And I, let's talk about just the goal, I suppose, your vision of what you wanted these things to look like, because it's hard to miss right there off I-80. You know, you, you see these grand facilities and you walk in, you're just you're blown away. What, what was kind of your vision and, and how you wanted to execute what these things look like? Yeah, our goal is always, uh, number one, how do we t take best care of our customers and, and how do we operate efficiently to get them back on the road? Obviously, in our business, if uh, their trucks aren't running, they're not making money. So that's goal number one. And then our second piece is, uh, is making uh, great places to work. And uh, we, we focus on our culture all the time to make that part of it. Uh, and then having facilities that uh, people can be proud to go to and, and be able to get the job done is, is uh, the next piece of that. Obviously, with your vision, um, you know, it comes the execution part, and you talked about culture, you talked about growing your company. Well, with that, you, you were given a couple of awards. Uh, that hasn't been good. It, maybe not receiving the award, but knowing you're doing things the right way and, you know, maybe trying to improve on that, but at the same time being recognized and, and let your company know, hey, we're, we're doing things the right way here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we won uh, the 2019 American Truck Dealers uh, Dealer of the Year Award, which is the the big one in our industry is, as far as truck dealer goes. And, um, you know, that's the thing that uh, has my name on it. But uh, the, the real thing is knowing that uh, our 650, roughly 650 employees are the ones that earn this honor. And um, I'm proud of all of them that are on our team. We have a lot of great people. Uh, we have great training facilities to take care of our people and make sure that uh, they're experts in the field. So at the end of the day, we can uh, do the right thing for our customer base. And I think uh, being recognized for this award is, is uh, showing us that we're we're doing some things right, and uh, we're proud of that. Yeah, as you should be. We're talking with Trey Mitty, CEO of Truck Center Companies, here on the Dakota Mac Husker Game Day Show. Well, something that continues with growth of a company is you want to bring in different additions to, to find other areas where your company can grow. And, and one of the areas that you guys are focusing on now are trailers. What, what's, the, what's the purpose of this, and, and what will you see this as the potential benefit of, of adding this part to your company? Yeah, we've added uh, the Stoughton line of trailers there for dry vans and, and refrigerated uh, trailers. Uh, we've got uh, side dumper as well for construction customers out there. And really our goal is to um, uh, expand what we're doing so that anything that has to do with a truck, uh, we can provide a solution to customers. And, and I think that um, uh, we, can, we can definitely do that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got uh, roughly 650 em employees and uh, we spend a lot of time training them to make sure that, that they're the best in the field. So we feel that if it uh, has to do with a truck, uh, we can take care of, uh, of customers. And, and um, we continue to focus on, on uh, our growth strategy, but trying to do it the right way. And uh, you know, we have 10 locations now that are throughout Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. So if you're traveling through those areas, we'd love to see you and take care of you. One of the cool things that we get to see, too, because we work with a lot of different companies, the companies that do grow quite a bit, 
uh, they really pride themselves on giving back to the community. And, and obviously with Nebraska and some of the things that we've had happen to us, children are, are something that are very important to our culture. And as I'm sure you've seen um, with the pediatric brain cancer outreach with the university and, and now truck center companies continuing to make that a tradition of getting involved, uh, giving back to the community with Make-A-Wish. Uh, where did this start? And, and obviously the, the benefits are, are pretty tangible, but you know what, what it's like to work with such a great company. Yeah, uh, Make-A-Wish was something that was selected by our staff 25 years ago. So this was our 25th year supporting Make-A-Wish. Um, it's a great organization that does amazing things, and we're excited and, and we're proud to be a part of it. Um, you know, this was uh, our, again, 25th year of working on this, and we were able to raise $432,000 this year for Make-A-Wish, which brought our, our lifetime uh, funds being raised to uh, over $3 million. So uh, that's done by the uh, the effort of our staff and, and our vendors and, and our customers as well. So it's it's been a, a fun thing for us, and, and we take a lot of pride in it. As you should. That's, that's an amazing number, and, and you should feel, feel very proud about that. We talked about your 650 employees already, but I know, like everything else, always looking to grow, and people that have experience in, into the field, you're, you're willing to welcome them to your team. What, what's the, the, the potential of employment of, of truck center companies and maybe somebody listening out there that feel like they could be you know, a nice addition to the team? Uh, information on that. Yeah, we're always looking to add great players to our team. Uh, diesel techs, body shop technicians, parts specialists, truck sales specialists, and and other things too. I mean, if, if you're out there and, and you're, you're looking for a good career, we feel that we can provide that. Uh, so check out uh, truckcentercompanies.com and see what we have available or stop into one of our dealerships and and uh, ask, and, and uh, we'd love to uh, see if there's a, a match. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up when we we're looking at your facilities the nice display you have about veterans um you know obviously welcome them into your team as well i know that can be a tough situation for some to to get back into employment but another source of pride for you i'm sure you know to to have that many you know former service men and women a part of your team what what is that conversation typically like you know having that those welcoming those people here and and what they can provide and and you provide them as well uh we love our veterans and and uh about 25% of our staff uh, are veterans, so we take a lot of uh, pride in focusing on uh, that that group of people that have done their duty to our country, and, and uh, we uh, are always uh, looking at different things that we can do to to provide uh, good jobs for, for our veterans, so it's, it's a neat thing for us. Yeah, and definitely cool to, to have that displayed in, on your walls as well. Well, uh, you partner with us here at the Husker Sports Network, and this has been a very exciting time for us, and a lot of our partners are very excited too because of you know the hype about the season. We've got one of these down already. The, the fans were, were crazy. We're expecting a, I'm expecting 15 to 20 thousand Husker fans uh, at Folsom Field here today with with Colorado. What's it like for you to kind of sit back and, and see this thing take off? Of you know, we've been a partners with Huskers for a while, and this is probably the most excited you've been to be a partner with us here at the network just because of you know the trend of Husker football in the last year yeah for sure as a uh, uh, born and raised Nebraska kid and a Nebraska alum uh, I've always been a Husker fan so I'm um, excited to see what uh, Scott and and his team can do this year and in, in year number two uh, but it's really exciting and, and look forward to going out today and, and getting a win over Colorado and making it 2-0 and oh. That's the goal. Trey Mitty, CEO of Truck Center Companies, with us here on the Dakota Mac Husker Game Day Show. Trey, really appreciate it. It was nice sitting down with you, man. Hopefully things will go well, and we look forward to talking to you at the next road game. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for having me on, and, and go Big Red. Let's beat the Buffaloes. Trey Mitty joining us here on the Husker Game Day Show, the CEO of Truck Center Companies.